never scarce in our world, and I've run up and down the world since with a case of rapiers, wounding myself when I could find none to fight with. I was born in hell, and look to it, for some of you shall be my father. Hi, my name's Heather Wallen, and I am here at Hagerstown Community College to talk to you guys today about our production of Faustus, opening next weekend. Um, I am here with Seth Funk, who plays the title character, Dr. Faustus. Um, Seth, do you want to tell them a little bit about our show? Dr. Faustus is a show about a man who decides to sell his soul to the devil in exchange for magical properties so that he can become this all-powerful, all-knowing individual in the world, and as he finds out throughout the show, he is not getting nearly what he wanted to when he set out with his quest. So you're saying it's about the dangers of knowledge is power? The dangers of knowledge is power, yes. That, that would very well encompass this show, and knowing exactly what you're getting and what you're giving up to get said power. So what did you have to go through to prepare for your role? It was a lot of becoming this very seemingly intelligent individual, this man who's learned, who's been through a lot of experiences in his life, but also doesn't feel quite fulfilled in what he's been doing. So, and it helped a lot that I had a great group of actors with me to really help me encompass that character. That's awesome. Um, do you want to tell everybody how they can get tickets? You can go to www.hagerstowncc.edu forward slash productions and look for Dr. Faustus on that page. It, the show is free. It is in our black box. But we do recommend that you get tickets ahead of time because they sell out really fast. And I'm here with Andrew Schiffler, who plays Mephistopheles in the Hagerstown production of Dr. Faustus. Um, Andrew, can you tell us a little bit about your character's part in this production? Uh, I play Mephistopheles, and I am a servant to Lucifer, and I am brought to Earth to collect the soul of Dr. Faustus. Um, he signs his pack for 24 years, and I follow him and make sure I collect. So was it fun getting to play kind of an evil character? It was. Um, trying to get the camaraderie to kind of show that Faustus trusts me, but also having that evil side was a lot of fun to play. That sounds really cool. Make sure you get your tickets for Christopher Marlowe's Dr. Faustus here at HCC. Hi, my name is Heather Wallen, and I'm currently a theater major here at Hagerstown Community College. The theater program is not just for actors. I myself have gotten really into playwriting and directing. They've even let me write and produce my own shows, which is amazing. Um, the connections that you get through the professors and everyone else here, even some of the students, is invaluable. It's amazing. Um, I would definitely enroll in the program if you're an actor, but like I said, there's a million other avenues that you can pursue and all of the staff is comp and professors are completely willing to work with what you want to do. It's infinite and you get to create something that you get to show to your friends and your family and ultimately the community. Then Faustus, stab your arm courageously and bind your soul that at some great certain day, great Lucifer will claim it as his own. Then will you be as great as Lucifer. Look, Mephistopheles, this is for love of you. I have cut my arm, and with his proper blood, assures his soul to great Lucifer. But Faustus, you must write it in deed of gift. So I do. What would I not do to get his soul? But Mephistopheles, my blood congeals and I can write no more. I will fetch you something to dissolve it. What might the stain of my blood foretell? Is it unwilling you should write this gift? Why streams it not that I may write afresh? Faustus bequeathed to you his soul. And why should you not? Is not your soul your own? See, Faustus. Here is fire. Set it on. So, now the blood begins to clear again. Now I will make an end immediately. What would I not do to obtain his soul? 
consummatum est. It is finished. The bill is ended. And Faustus has bequeathed his soul to Lucifer. But what is this inscription on my arm? Homo fuge, flee, O oh man. But where should I fly? If unto God he'll throw me down to hell. What is this? My senses are deceived. Here's nothing written. Wait. Yes, now I see it plain. Even here is written. Homo fuge. Yet shall not Faustus fly. Mephistopheles, receive this scroll. A deed of gift of body and of soul. Yet conditionally that you perform all articles and covenants between us both. Faustus, I swear by hell and Lucifer to effect all promises between us both. Then hear me read it, Mephistopheles. On these conditions following, first, that Faustus may be a spirit in body and soul, and second, that Mephistopheles shall be his servant and be by him commanded. Thirdly, that Mephistopheles shall bring to him and do for him whatsoever he shall ask. Fourthly, that he shall appear in his chamber or house invisible. Lastly, that he shall appear to the said John Faustus at all times in whatso form and shape soever he please. I, John Faustus of Wittenberg, doctor, by these presents do give both body and soul to Lucifer, Prince of the East, and to his minister, Mephistopheles. And furthermore, grant unto them that four and twenty years being expired, full power to fetch the said John Faustus, body and soul, flesh and blood, into their habitation wheresoever. Speak, Faustus. Do you deliver this as your deed? Yes, Mephistopheles. Take it, and the devil give you good of it. Now, Faustus, ask me what you will. First, I will question with you about hell. Tell me, where is the place that men call hell? Under the heavens. Yes, so are all things, but whereabouts? Within the bowels of these elements, where we are tortured and remain forever. <laughs> Hell has no limits, nor is circumscribed to one self place. But where we are is hell, and where hell is, there must we ever be. And in short, when all the world's dissolved and every creature shall be purified, all places will be hell that are not heaven. I think hell's a fable. <laughs> yes, think so still until experience change your mind. Why? Do you think that I shall be damned? Of necessity. For here is a scroll in which you have given your soul to Lucifer. Yes, and body too. And what of that? Do you think that Faustus is so fond to imagine that after this life there is any pain? No. These are trifles and mere old wives' tales.